Everybody, how are you guys today? Starting off the vlog with some packages that I'm very excited about. This one's from my merch team. Thank you so much, Josh, and everyone on the team. You guys are amazing. I cannot believe we've been working with our merch team for a year now. This is incredibly sweet. Oh, I love. What is it? What is it? What could it be? It's too heavy. <laughs> So cute. Baby, can you help me lift it off? Lift it out? It's Christmas snacks. Oh my god, how freaking cute. Oh, Mrs. Fields. Oh my god, Mrs. Fields cookies? Yeah. Mrs. Fields makes my favorite cookies. She's at the Westminster Mall. Mm -hmm. I used to call her something else, I forget. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You guys are the best. I believe this is from my manager, Nikki. This from her. This is so sweet. She did not have to get us anything. What is this place? Yeah, it's from Nikki. It's a flower place, no? Aw, thank you, Nikki. She's actually on a flight right now to Chicago. I hope she made it there safe. Oh my god, it's so go. beautiful. What is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I... I think you keep them in the box, no? Oh my god, that's stunning. How pretty. There's directions, we should probably read these. Oh my god, how pretty. We move the plastic protector. Okay, pretty. Carefully remove the wood sticks. Okay. Do not water the roses. Don't try to remove the roses. Keep roses out of sunlight, extreme heat, and moisture. The roses do not have a smell. Please do not spray them. The roses do not need any maintenance other than occasional light dusting. Oh my god, so they're preserved real roses. How freaking adorable. And I love that the box is white. This is so pretty, thank you, Nikki. You guys, she's honestly the best manager ever and we don't know what we would do without her. I guess if I wanted, no, no. This is what we're gonna do. Yes, how cute. I love it. Friends, how beautiful. I changed because the Nike Sherpa was way too warm. Like that thing was way too warm for today. But I'm wearing my new crew neck from the small business called uh, Shop Daily Dainty. It's actually owned by one of my subscribers and she's incredibly sweet. This is my second time ordering from her. I actually found her on TikTok without knowing that she was one of my subscribers. I just genuinely loved her TikTok stories and her story about how she really grew her business. She practically, she's pretty Pretty much works from home. She embroiders all of these crew necks herself using like a typical embroidery machine. She doesn't have like a big team. She doesn't have a big warehouse that does everything. She only has one like decent sized embroidery machine that probably does like one crew neck at a time. And I'm just so proud of her. I've been following her journey for a while now and she honestly works so hard and so I wanted to support her when I saw this new collection because do you guys remember this movie when we were growing up? I'm I'm going blank right now what it's called. Is it something delivery service? Something del Baby, yeah. did you ever watch that cartoon growing up? It was a girl and she like could fly on a broom, she had a cat. No, no. <laughs> something delivery service. Kiki? Is it Kiki? It, okay, so long story short, it was one of my favorites growing up. It was one of the first, I guess you could say, cartoons that ever made me cry because it was just so sad. It was like raining and the lady at the bakery took her in and like she got that room and like her cat and she had a broom, right? She had a broom and she could like fly or something. I like, when I saw this, I thought of her, but now I can't think of the thing and I don't have my phone near me to check what it is. You guys should check out Shop Daily Dainty. She's amazing. Her crewnecks are really good material. They're lightweight crewnecks, so I don't feel congested in them. They feel really good, very good material. She takes her business very seriously and you can just tell how much love and passion goes into every single order that she packs. Like, she can do no wrong. So, I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was so cute. I also got another one that is this really cute font and it says trust the process and then I also got the one that says wanderlust. Ah! 
Adorable. Hello, we're getting gas. Gas. <laughs> I need to get gas because not tomorrow, but the day after, I'm going to Orange County. Carlos is actually going to spend some time with his friends. And he's gonna, he got all the boys together and they're going to see Spider-Man. So that'll be good just to get his mind off of things with the sirens. Ugh, every time I hear the sirens, I get so anxious. Do you guys see the same? Every time Carlos and I hear like sirens of any sort, we always just pray, like right away. We just start praying. We don't even know what the situation is. We just, we automatically just start praying. But yeah, so not tomorrow, but the day after, we're gonna head to Orange County. He's gonna go see the new Spider-Man movie that everyone's talking about. And I'm just gonna drive down and probably see my mom real quick. I'm gonna see her for Christmas. Just see my mom real quick and then probably have a girls day with Michelle. And then at night, we're gonna meet at our friend Alex's house. Carlos will meet me there for Secret Santa because we always do a Friendsgiving and Secret Santa with our group of friends, which I'm really excited about. And so, actually this is like the first year that we'll probably bring you guys along and see everything, which is really fun. I'm at Panera now, I'm so excited. I have an obsession. Also, does your Panera Bread have a drive-thru? Because ours does, and I think it's the coolest thing ever. I had no idea that Panera Bread even had locations that had drive-thrus, I think it's so cool. I'm in the drive-thru right now. Actually, I wanna take a picture of the Christmas tree and send it to Michelle. They just put up the Christmas tree in the shopping center and it's so cute. You guys, you have to go to Panera Bread and try the Passion Papaya Ice Green Tea. It is so good, I'm gonna repeat it again. The Passion Papaya Iced Green Tea. It is the drink that Michelle and I would always get in college. We would go to Panera Bread and do some quote, quote studying and we would sit there and order a shitload of food, get nothing done and order this tea and I used to get like the biggest size possible and it was just so refreshing it's not really sweet which I love I actually don't like things that are too sweet so it's the perfect drink to just like suck down when you're thirsty as you guys know I got it for the first time again yesterday because I thought I actually I didn't think I know they did and they probably brought it back but there was a certain amount of time that the Panera Bread location in Huntington Beach which now doesn't exist anymore told me that it was like discontinued and that they don't have it anymore like their machine was no longer there and so that's why we thought that it was just gone and I I swear it's been like two or three years and so I'm just so glad the only thing about the Panera drive through is man it is slow because people are actually ordering like whole meals instead of walking in so I'll probably be stuck here for a little bit but I forgot to get, fill you guys in on today today was actually teeth cleaning for Cooper and Casper Carlos woke up super early and drove the dogs this morning because I drove them last week I drove Rocky and Riley last week and so now I'm picking them up in like an hour, but I have to pick up a inflatable bed, like a mattress at Target, which is nearby, because Carlos's family is coming over for Christmas Eve and we need one more bed so everyone can sleep comfortably. So I'm picking that up from Target, I already ordered it, and then I have to get a, like a USB drive and then a photo album and a picture frame because for two of the presents, I actually took photos for two of my family members and I thought a really sweet gift for the holidays would be they haven't seen the photos yet so I thought a really sweet gift would be to frame one of the photos and then print out all the photos and put them in a photo album and then give them all of the photos in a USB if they in case they want to digitally digitally digi digitally <laughs> in case they want the digital version oh my god so yeah I think I'm gonna I have to do that tonight because I have to print out the photos and get that done before Christmas Eve at least because it's just gonna be such a hectic week speaking of Panera by the way their cookies are really good. Can I please have a regular passion papaya ice green tea? You got it. Um, and that's it for today. Okay. Be, uh, next one. Perfect. Thank you. Have a great day. The only thing about Panera is I will say like their food is so overpriced. Ugh, like their chicken noodle soup. You guys, I'm not even kidding. It's like this bowl. Like the bowl is this big. It's so small, and they'll charge you like 150 bucks. <laughs> At least that's what, it, that's what it feels like to me. I put on my mask. Mask mandate is back, you guys. Stay safe. This is the time that COVID just does its thing. We also need to schedule our booster shots. Have you guys gotten your booster shots? Carlos and I need to schedule our booster shots for after Christmas. So there are a lot of things, man. The holidays are just not fun. However, the good thing is like my skin's popping. Did you guys see my skin earlier? Did you guys notice my skin earlier? I'm having a really good skin day. Oh my God, and it's so soft. I feel like having a skincare day. I'm wearing makeup this week so my skin better be good. <laughs>
This is the drink, you guys, right here. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. This is the Panera Bread Passion Papaya Ice Green Tea. It is so good. I'm not even kidding. I could suck this whole thing down in like two seconds. It's so refreshing, not too sweet, has like the slightest amount of flavoring, doesn't taste like, you know, like artificial. One like, you know, you know, it doesn't taste fake. It's very, very good. Just trust me on this. When have I ever let you guys down? Huh? Huh? Just go get this at Panera. Baby brownie. Oh. <gasps> Double fudge toffee brownie. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're so excited to eat these. Look at this. Like, doesn't this cookie look like it goes to a really good school? Butterscotch brown blondie. Hey, let's share this with our friends. Yeah. On Thursday, we'll bring it. Oh, I love Mrs. Fields. Oh my God, look at these mini macadamia cookies. Oh, these are like the... Uh, Double fudge. Those muffins that they sell? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, I forgot what they're called. I know what you're talking about, with in little, little bags. The little towels or whatever. Okay, so I've been craving a brownie for a very long time, love, so I'm gonna have one. Butterscotch blondie. Yeah, that's this one. Doesn't this cookie look good? Yeah, it does. Why don't you try it? I was gonna make a soup. What should I eat first? Uh, you can't go wrong with the chocolate chip. That's so basic, though. Okay, okay, basic. This cookie, a brownie. No, I'm not a huge fan of brownies. You wanna try this with me? Sure. I'll eat the brownie in my own time. <laughs> it's soft. Heaven, that's what it is. What is it? Like, what, what flavor? Vanilla, but like a little bit of crack. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love soft cookies. Soft or chewy cookies are my favorite. I call them moist cookies. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is very good. Double fudge. What's toffee, babe? Toffee? No, toffee. What's toffee with a T? Uh, toffee is... Do you know or are you making it up? No, because I think I'm going to confuse it with taffy. Mmm. Isn't toffee like coffee flavored chewy candy? I don't know. I'm probably way off. I know like I've heard of it and I've tried it. I just don't know exactly what it is. And I'll probably get it confused with taffy, so. If you guys ever see Mrs. Fields in a mall on the street, stop by and buy some dessert. The best cookies ever. It's honestly probably my favorite. I love caramel toffee. Oh, toffee nut. Toffee is that flavor. Like what they put in the caramel. So scared the dogs were gonna hit. Oh, and then they put nuts and uh, like nuts on them. Ooh. Um, that's my favorite. Mm-hmm. If you guys have tried the, oh man, what are they called? The ones that I'm talking about. The, the little, ones in the bag. Yeah, the ones in the bag, the little muffins. Is that what they're called, little muffins? No. Little muffins, huh? I don't know. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I think they have like a little cartoon cow on them. But that's pretty much what those are, and there's, those are so good. Too much sugar. Too much sugar. Yeah, seriously. Hello. I left the house again. You guys, oh my gosh. Today has been one of those days where something just has to go wrong. Like there, everything went wrong today. So Carlos's computer, the MacBook that he uses to edit, completely froze on him for three hours basically. And then Final Cut Pro, which is the program we use to edit all of our videos, every time he clicks on it, it'll show up and then disappear. So then we reinstalled it and now the whole thing is like frozen basically and he couldn't edit the video so we wasted basically like I don't even know four hours trying to fix that so then we decided to change over to my new MacBook la laptop which oh my gosh you guys know how like I Apple does this thing where it'll take your basically like your fingerprint instead of typing in a password so I'm so dang used to that by just putting my fingerprint in that I forgot my actual password so that took like two and a half hours to figure out I was on the phone with Apple trying to like restart my whole laptop so we got that figured out and now now Carlos just started editing the video and it's I don't think it's a short one so it's gonna take pretty much forever that's basically what happened literally I feel like everything has gone wrong <laughs> But I'm at Stater Brothers right now. The last thing Carlos and I ate was breakfast. We had McDonald's breakfast. We both were craving a McGriddle this morning. And for dinner, this is gonna be a really late dinner because it's already 7.40. And by the time we eat, it'll probably be like 9, 9.30. But I am going to attempt for the first time to make one of my favorite soups ever. I love going to Olive Garden for one thing and that's their unlimited soup and the breadsticks as well. And I'm so excited. There's a new Olive Garden opening up down the street from us and we're really excited for that next month. Carlos and I love only one soup and it's the Zupa Toscano soup. I think I'm saying that right. I could be butchering it, but oh my God, she almost hit that car next to her. That would have been bad. It's our favorite. Oh my God, it's a little freaking brown bag and I thought it was a cat. I was about to run out and get it. It's my favorite soup ever and we haven't been to Olive Garden in months. I think the last time we went, we had like a date night and that was it. So I'm going to attempt to make the Zupa Toscano soup 
soup at home. It's fairly easy. It just has onions, garlic, spicy sauce, Italian sausages, potatoes, kale. I know the kale doesn't sound appetizing, but for some reason it works really well with the soup. If you guys have never had the Olive Gar Garden soup, it's so, so good. And then, did I say potatoes? Oh, and bacon. So it's fairly easy to do. That's what I'm doing today. This guy probably thinks I'm so weird vlogging in my car. Hello, sir. Okay, goodbye. We're gonna go inside. I've never bought original bacon. I always buy the turkey bacon, which the Jenny O's is my favorite. But we're grabbing this today. We're grabbing this Jimmy Dean's Hot Premium Pork Sausage. I don't know if I should do one or two. Maybe another one? Let's see. We'll do, we'll do another one. Yeah, there we go. Definitely Parmesan cheese on top. I would go like, you know, the fancy version where you would like shred it, but we're doing this. Ooh, look at those. Ooh. Okay, we need, what else? We already stocked up on coffee. See? Oh, they're in the back. They're usually out. Um, garlic and onions and chicken broth. Okay, you guys, we have the chicken broth, sausage bacon, heavy whipping cream, the cheese, and then I have the onions. I already have garlic at home, and then kale and potatoes. We're good to go. Our neighbor, Megan, dropped off a present. She's the sweetest neighbor. Thank you, Megan. She lives right across the street from us, and her family's the sweetest. What is this? It's a huge ornament. Peppermint essential oils. Ooh. Oh my god, wait. And then there's a box. So I'm like, what could be in here? Oh, I love this wrapping paper. Oh my god, an essential oils diffuser. I actually don't have one. I've never had one in my life. Oh my god, how cute. I've never had one in my life. I'm so excited. Thank you, Megan. This is so sweet and it matches our home. <laughs> it matches our home perfectly with the oak and the white. I'll have to read on how to use this because I've never used this in my life. Okay, actually let me read before I like mess this up. Oh my God, but how freaking thoughtful is this? Okay, thank God for directions. I'm excited to use this. But in the meantime, I will put it back before I break it. Oh my God, how cute. And then she put all the essential oils in this thing that looks like an ornament. cooking I'm going to prep everything so then we can just like pop 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 in the bowl and it'll be easy easy ready to go I've never cooked with this before heavy whipping cream I thought this was for like dessert and stuff so growing up I didn't really cook a lot with this there's not a lot of I feel like dishes in the Vietnamese culture that require heavy whipping cream so I'm not too familiar with this I maybe use it once or twice I'm very interested in seeing how this goes so I have my garlic I have my bacon I chose this one that I showed you guys earlier you guys can use your favorite bacon and then I just bought the Stater Brothers chicken broth 33% less sodium I don't know it was the only one that I saw available I grabbed it it was like a dollar and so you need 32 ounces and this is perfect which equals four cups and then I bought the Jimmy Dean's because you can't go wrong with Jimmy Dean's you guys There's just so good. This is the premium pork sausage in hot. I want a little bit of kick That's what I kind of like about the Olive Garden soup is there's like a little bit of kick in the sausage Which is really nice and then we have the onion and then for toppings at the end I'm gonna do a little bit of Parmesan and then save a little bit of the bacon and we'll sprinkle it on top I'm washing my potatoes in the sink and my kale in the sink as well so right now we're gonna chop this up unpack this chop these up put this aside 
this aside. I want to show you something new that I got and I think it's very cute. It's not here. I need to organize this kitchen. So you guys know I love my little chopping container. You guys know this. I love my little chopping container that I use all the time. If you don't know what this is, I'll link it down below. I bought it on Amazon like a year ago, months ago. I've been using it for a while. And this is what I use to make my green dipping sauce that everyone loves. And it's so easy. You just put everything in and you pull this and there's a blade inside and it chops everything up. But I was like, this is a little bit small. I need something just a tad bit bigger. So then I found this. That's just a tad big, big, bigger. I actually thought it was going to be much bigger in person, but it didn't turn out that way. But it's okay. I also got my mom one too because she's been obsessed with it. She's been using it for like nonstop the last week. So I'll link this down below for you guys as well. I got it on Amazon. <laughs> Duh. And I mean, this is kind of cute. You just like pull this. So I am going to unlock this. I do like this because you can lock and unlock the other one that I have. It doesn't lock or unlock. You kind of just pray. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pretty big cloves or are they called cloves? Garlic pieces? And then I'm going to cut this onion in half. Bring out my favorite cutting board. I got this cutting board at Target a while back and we've been still loving her nonstop. Let's cut this. There's my little pony. <laughs> no bugs. He always tries to steal my food. Give mommy kisses. And here comes the other boys. Hey, are you guys proud of me? I low-key don't like onions. Actually, high-key, everyone knows this. I don't like onions, but I will say, in the past year, I've been a little bit adventurous with cooking with onion and also eating onions. And I've gotten to the point where I just don't mind it. So that's been really nice. I'm also going to put the onion. I'm just gonna chop it off. Chop it off. <laughs> I'm gonna chop it up like so, and I'm gonna put it in there so I can just chop everything at once because no one has patience. Ooh, the onion kind of low key smells good. I'm telling you. I don't know if it's like I'm aging, I'm getting older. I've been liking onions. I'm gonna do half an onion. Half an onion. Let's do the magic here. I like to stay organized when I cook. Like, this is driving me nuts right now. We're gonna put the lid on. Lock it. I like the whole locking thing, you guys. It has a nice grip on the counter. You can't tell me that's not the best thing that's ever been invented. Oh my god! You guys, look! Do you see it? I actually really like this one. I like this one way more than my other one. Clean as you go. Makes cooking a little bit more fun. Unlock this. Oh, baby. Wow, so I did it a little bit longer than dicing, so it's a little bit on the mint side, but we like it. We're not hating on it, we like it. So I'm just gonna leave this aside because we're gonna scoop this into the pot in a little bit anyways. Next, I'm gonna take care of the bacon. Don't mind me, Riley, don't mind me. <laughs> Bring all the bacon aside. Ooh, bacon, bacon, bacon. Wow. The bacon smells amazing already, and it's not even cooked. You wanna cut these into small pieces, tiny pieces. Pot, my favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna heat that up and then we are going to start with the meats. In the meantime, on the side here, I'm gonna cut up the potatoes. I kind of want to do them in circles like this. I think that's kind of fun. And we'll put them in this bowl here. Is probably the time most time consuming, huh? Just like cutting up all the potatoes, or do I want them like this? Okay, I kind of want them like this. You could obviously do it to your liking, you guys. I think I'm gonna get a potato, I'll do this one, and then cut it in half. So then you have two halves, and then I'm gonna cut it just down. That way, you get two small pieces of potato like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the bacon in.
The bacon smells so good. We are moving forward to the kale. Look. Yay! <laughs> so with the kale, you just basically want to hold it at the end like this. You see how there's a hard part? And you just... Oh, no, that's not what you want. Bad demonstration. You just want to slide your finger down. And that's also a bad demonstration. Oh, we're good, we're good. Yep, basically like that. We're gonna chop it off. I think I got a little bit. So basically you wanna clean that and get rid of that. I think I got a little bit too much kale, you guys. That's okay, because we can make a smoothie with the rest. Kale is so good in a green smoothie when you mix it with like bananas and stuff. Can't even taste it, I promise you. This is enough for the soup. I'm gonna chop it up. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna scoop the bacon into here. Oh my god, it looks so good. That is enough oil. We're gonna leave that oil in there. Just it should only be like a little bit of oil. The garlic that and the onions that we chopped up earlier. I'm gonna add that in. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I'm going to add the hot sausage in now. Okay, you guys, we are waiting for the potatoes to boil. They're doing its thing. I had a little bit of the sausage, I'm not gonna lie. I had a little bite. The sausage is so freaking good. And then we have the kale on deck with the heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna flavor the broth a little bit to my liking, so I'm just gonna use some chicken flavored bouillon. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to boil, I think maybe 15, 20 minutes. So we'll do set timer for 20 minutes. This is the best thing ever. If you guys do not have the Amazon Echo Show 10 and you cook in the kitchen a lot or you just do a lot of things and you like to multitask, it's like the best thing in the world. This is what happens when I'm cooking. I have a fan base. They, yes. Yeah. Make yourself at home, honey. Right by mommy's stove. This is the fan base. That one's trying to act too cool, but we know he loves me. Hi, huh, Cooper? <laughs> oh, my little sweetie. He's still licking his stitches from his leg, so the cone has to stay on. They had good teeth cleaning, huh? Okay, he's very mad. And then Riley's always so chill. Riley George, hi baby. Okay, 15 minutes has gone by. I'm gonna add maybe this much of chicken bouillon. And then I'm going to add the sausage and bacon back in. Whip. A little bit of 
bacon on top. Parmesan cheese. There you guys go. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. This is Carlos's. We'll make a bowl for ourselves in a little bit. I gotta try it though. I'm gonna try it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. The bacon, the sausage, the kale, the potatoes. Okay, this is gonna be a good bite. I have everything on my spoon. It's hot. Oh my God. If you guys don't try that at home, ooh, that is going to be the recipe that makes you the most desirable fair favorite what am i saying this is, recipe is going to make you the most favorite family member at the christmas party oh my god that is so good mm. i'm not gonna lie i think it tastes better than olive garden it tastes so much better at home it's so good oh my gosh I'm gonna eat three bowls. I'm not even kidding. Oh my goodness. You can't even taste the kale. It tastes amazing, you guys. And the potatoes, the sausage that I bought, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I love Jimmy Dean's, can do no wrong. Highly recommend that sausage. It's not even hot or spicy, so don't even worry about it. It was just flavored so nicely. And I definitely think that the spoonful of the chicken bouillon before adding in the meat was a good move. Wow. It tastes better than Olive Garden. Gosh, this is so fucking good. Oh, yeah. Tell our friends, like, yeah. we don't need to go to Olive Garden anymore. No. Honestly, all I need is that the Alfredo, bread. yeah, the breadsticks and some Alfredo dipping sauce. Ooh. It tastes so good. Hey. Wow. Baby, it was so easy to make. You like? Um, oh my goodness. Why are you mad? Oh, God, because he sees himself? Oh, I'm done. Wait, baby. It's bomb, huh? I low-key like this more than the rib soup. I mean, obviously they're in no. different ca they're in different categories. It's my favorite. Oh shoot, okay. It's like not even close. Oh wow. There's like no competition. But I feel like they're in different categories. It the doesn't other matter. One? This okay. takes like over that category too. Oh, like shoot. there's no competition. Like this is my all-time favorite soup. Oh now. okay. This is so good. It's bomb. Yeah, honestly, just some breadsticks. I know. I was gonna Yo, say. Yo, this is you're gonna think this is kind of gross, but whenever you make this again. I'm gonna order breadsticks from Pizza Hut. Oh no, I think right? dipped in it would be bomb. No, I, I I agree with you on this one. Sometimes your your ideas are kind of weird, but this one was good. And the sausage is Jimmy Dean's and it's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't need to go to Olive Garden. Well, we're still going. Yeah, we're still going. Cause I wanna, I wanna see how similar it is. Do you like the kick? Mm, I do. The kick it's is nice. It's not too much, it's not too little. Yeah, the kick is really nice. Cause sometimes you get a little crazy with the kick. Okay. But, <laughs> but Oh, and then the bacon? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, this sausage is Jimmy Dean? Yeah. The breakfast one? No, 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 no. It's oh, a... just like a regular sausage? Yeah, Jimmy Dean hot pork sausage. And then the kale, can, you can't taste the kale, right? Mm -mm. It's so good, I'm though. I'm going to add more kale next time because it's really good, but you can't taste it. Actually, for me, this is good. Okay. But, like, not too much. This is, like, my favorite thing. Oh, yay. I'm happy. This is so good. It's bomb. You guys, make this at home. It's so good. You're going to impress everyone. Oh my goodness. Wow. Every bite is delicious. Mmm. It's so good. I just packed some for Veronica and Ruben. And then we have some for tomorrow to eat as well. I'm going to clean up the dishes. Call it a night. I'm tired. Seven more not line the wall search down Nothing to hide, no I can't lie, but I can dare to doubt. I'm coming with the advent calendar. Hey you guys, I just can't believe the time has come. Hi Caspi, the time has come, Bubba. Bubba, pull it with me. Come here. <laughs> oh, you want to share Mr. Bear? Oh, okay. Do not swing it at the TV, Ry. Riley, remember last time you did that and the TV literally made it down? Ah! Oh my god, you, no, 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 no. No wet ears. I cannot, I cannot do that. I cannot. The day has finally come. Okay, goodbye. 
It is Vlogmas Day 23 giveaway. We are on 23, you guys. That means that in tomorrow's vlog, we only have one box left and it's gonna be Christmas. I cannot believe it. So today is the 23rd day. I can't believe we went through this whole advent calendar. Like, I'm actually so sad. Like, really, really, really sad, you guys. Let's see what today's prize is. Just to let you know, I am tired. Today's prize is $100. A hundred dollars. If you guys want to win a hundred dollars, make sure you leave a comment down below. I already know what the two prize. Actually, no. I don't know the second prize, but I already know what the first prize is. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow's vlog for the big finale. We have two winners tomorrow. I'm so excited for tomorrow's vlog. But if you guys are interested in winning a hundred dollars, make sure you guys leave a comment. Subscribe to this channel. Also, leave your Instagram as well. Like this video. Follow me on Instagram. Please only enter the giveaway if you guys really Really need a hundred dollars there are so many people out there that could really use a hundred dollars this month you guys um, you never know what people are going through behind closed doors so if you already have a hundred dollars please do not enter but I love you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today I am so tired you guys I'm literally exhausted if I lay down right now I'm gonna be out make sure you guys try that soup recipe it was delicious you guys like the best soup ever Carlos is gonna have it tomorrow so you guys probably see it in tomorrow's vlog as well but that was so fun to try at home. I'm really glad that I made that. It was delicious. I love you guys and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new, very, very exciting, huge giveaway video. <laughs> Bye.